If anyone remembers, I had a book review about Altered Carbon, and since that time, the entire series has been adapted on screen. But not faithfully, only the first season was close to the source, the other two were loose adaptations. Not that it made much of a difference, since nobody I know of ever talks about the show. Even in the books, people were excited about the first one and never talk about the other two. Anyways, since the first season is an almost identical adaptation of the book, the same ups and downs count about it. Superb atmosphere, cool action, interesting themes, and the whole premise falling apart when you realize nobody in this setting has a way to tell to whom he is talking to. If someone hijacks a body, he can go anywhere and nobody will suspect a thing. But if you're not a critical thinker, you are probably not going to realize realize that, and you will have a blast with a very unusual combo of cyberpunk and film noir. The first season was pretty great in terms of themes and presentation, and it definitely deserved more popularity compared to the other trash of that time. The second season, on the other hand, was crap compared to the first. The geniuses at the production team decided not to make it a space horror mystery like in the second book, and instead turned it into a young adult story written by a progressive. The plot was essentially revenge porn, about one bad hurt person assassinating corrupt government officials with hacks abilities nobody had any defense against. There was also a lot of mind control and magical MacGuffins that could make anything to be possible if the author wanted it. It was a far cry from the first season, which had clear limitations, a decent amount of seriousness, and was not about some sappy Hunger Games knockoff about good oppressed people versus the evil government. Everything about the second season screams schlock. There is a side mission about an AI trying to reprogram itself, which feels like needless padding. Everyone has previous versions of themselves on the loose, even when they are not supposed to. The elite bodyguards somehow believe a warrior with obsolete war tactics from centuries ago is somehow more creditable than they are. It was bad, I disliked every minute of it. Yet even that wasn't as bad as the third season, which wasn't even a live-action series. It was instead a rather a short CGI movie, where the producers just didn't give a shit anymore. It was a mindless action flick about a Yakuza succession war that came down to not knowing to whom they are talking to the whole time. Again. Needless to say, it was cheaply made, very few watched it, and even fewer found it amusing. What began as a promising sci-fi series became complete shit by building on very weak foundations. Thus, once again, it is proven why nothing gets better and why the oldest entries are always the best.